Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna go through three different lenses. One is the Voltrox 75mm uh, on the left side. On the middle is the 56 1.2 WR and then the 90 uh, on the right hand side. So I was uh, shooting on the tripod just to make sure there's no shaking and then um, trying to match the object size uh, together just to have a slightly slide to a different um, distance to match the object. Uh, the first thing I noticed uh, is the compression. So the 75 and the 90, uh, the 90 has the uh, most compression. However, when you look at the 56, you can see that the, the object is much smaller. That's why the compression um, of the 90 is the most obvious in this case, even though um, uh, even though it's uh, further away, it's uh, more closer and bigger. Uh, the other thing I noticed, uh, you can see the edge of the laptop here. These are the, uh, the MacBook Pro. Uh, the blur of the 1.2 uh, happened to here. So the 1.2 on the 75mm does matter on the bokeh because uh, you can see that uh, this part of the image right here this, uh, the 90 has the less uh, blur uh, between the focus point and uh, this uh, support column right here. So you can see the uh, 56, the bottom is 56. It's also blur out, but this one, 90, you can see still the uh, border right here. Uh, but the 75 uh, F1.2 Voltrox, you can see it's blur out also. So. Uh, because of the 1.2, it provides a thinner shadow depth of field uh, than the 90 because the 90. So the 90 will have a bigger uh, background compression. The laptop is bigger, uh, but uh, the 75 mm f 1.2 has uh, more uh, blur uh, or the shadow depth of field. So that's the difference I noticed uh, uh, right here. So let me zoom in uh, much closer. So 75 mm f 1.2 on the left side. So it's really sharp. Let me zoom in the 56 to the same size. So the 56 uh, wide open at 1.2 is not as sharp as the 75 wide open at 1.2. Uh, you can see the differences between here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Let's see. Um, see the details in the dust area. So there's some dust uh, on the mic here. And then there's some dust on the mic here. And then, um, so all these are shot on the tripod to uh, avoid the shaking. So let me zoom in slightly to the same sequence. Okay, so uh, I can see that the dust uh, and the sharpness on the border, uh, the 75 mm 4.2 is the sharper uh, than uh, these two, the 90 on the right hand side, and then the 56 on the bottom. So the from sharpness standpoint on the focus area, uh, this one, the uh, 75 is sharper. So the next one, I have another set of images. So I zoom in in this backpack uh, tie. So the same thing, the 75 mm f1.2 and then 90 mm f2 and uh, 56 mm. And let me zoom out a little bit so that you can see the bokeh differences. So the bokeh differences. So let me zoom out. Uh, little bit more so you can see the logo uh, blur is different between these two lenses so the 75 uh, blur the logo even more at this distance the 90 will not blur the close uh, distance between the focus area and the blur area so the 90 will have less blur near the uh, focus area the 75 will have more blur which means it has shallower uh, depth of field uh, between the focus area and then the defocus area. So let's check out the 56 around the same size. 
So the 56 is in between the 75 mm f1.2 blur and the 90. So the 56 1.2 blur is still not as blur as the 75 f1.2 but it's in between so it has more blur than the 90 and let me zoom in again for the sharpness so all of them are uh, focused on this knot right here so let's see just make sure in the same size okay so From this one standpoint, it's almost the same. It's very really hard to see for this uh, from this uh, background. Uh, I can see that this one even uh, more. The 90 is more sharper uh, in this case, and then um, almost the same. Almost the same sharpness in between these two. So, so from this standpoint. Um, it's almost uh, because the lighting is different um, they are all in the same uh, ISO so you can let me know in the comments uh, what do you think about the bokeh and the sharpness in here okay so the next set is in the uh, this uh, image so the 75 f1.2 and then 56 f1.2 so let me go to the same and then 90 so from this one standpoint uh, definitely this top two uh, has, has more contrast in the border area the 56 has less contrast in this area uh, let's see yep so so from uh, from today's test, uh, I just want to see which one uh, how's the bokeh looks like the differences in between the bokeh. Uh, let me zoom out so that you can see the blur differences. Yep, you can see that the flower blur between this focus area and this one is different, and then. This uh, the red flower blur is uh, is like in between the 90 and the 75. Uh, so as you can see that the advantages of the 75 f1.2 is that uh, it has the thinner depth of field in focus. So that's why some of you commented previously saying that it has the 85 f1.4 full frame look. Uh, so that that might be why uh, why uh, it had because it's uh, s faster to uh, defocus from the focus area to the uh, uh, non-focus area. So yeah, that's my finding. Uh, a quick finding for this set of images. And let me know uh, down in the comments uh, what do you think uh, about this quick comparison. I will have some portrait uh, schedule maybe next week just to double check on the portraits but this is just a detailed shot just to see what's going on with the focus area and the defocus area between uh, among these three lenses yep uh, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up bye